Hello, my name is Pierre Del Porto. I am the president of AFMA. AFMA is the French Federation for Museums of Agriculture and Rural Heritage. Today, I would like to introduce you to an uh, event in France called Les Journées du Patrimoine de Pays et des Moulins, Rural and Mills Heritage Open Days. This event is born in 2002. It's not the same as the European Open Days for Heritage. It's specific to the country. It takes place the last weekend of June in France. And the main target of this event is to make a communication between the town, the agriculture, and the rural life. We want to educate the families, the scholars, but also the elected people to what we do on the rural environment, rural know-how, what the countryside is, and how we can inform the population about what is nature and what is rural life. It's also the National Mills Day, because you must know that in France we got more or less 20,000 mills either water mills, either wind mills. To organize this event, we are seven national partners involved in, in heritage. Seven partners, which are the Federation of Cultural Heritage and Environment Associations, a group of associations, or AFMA, National Federation of Agriculture, Museums and Rural Heritage. We also have uh, Maison Paysanne de France, which is a character country homes association. The National Association for Mills Protections. The famous National Federation for Heritage. One group of association organizing summer restoration workshop for youngs in France, but also abroad. And the last one arrived last year is a small character towns village association, village or towns and less than 3,500 people. Every year, the steering committee composed from the seven national partners meets and try to find out a common item, subject, which is adapted to all our partners and which will be the next year main item. For example, the first was about earth, then we go for material as stones, then along the water side, lanes, dates and characters, round heritage, trades and know-how, rooftops, towers and steeples, always looking for something common to all the countryside and adaptable. Country recipes and know-how, middle age always present, fest and fairs, human and animals, intangibility and sustainability. And the last one we'll see later, this year was the tree, its life and its use. When the title is decided, the subject, we dispatch this information, more or less in autumn, to all friends, any place, any association, members or not members of our seven partners, tourist boards, lord mayors, countryside association, and so on. Then, the, each one is looking for which kind of animation they can do, pedagogical demonstration, visits, guided visits, craft organizations, and so on. The registration is free. They just have to connect to a specific website to register themselves, all their animations. As we are in June for this event, it's a good opportunity to inform, to communicate about what will be the summer in every part, in every village, 
what will be the fest, festivals, exhibitions in our museums and everywhere. For example, we have some artists showing, exhibiting some paintings on subjects. We have inaugurated the new two boats, wood boats on the Loire Valley, sailing boats. And we have in Oregon, in Rambouillet also a kind of nature new theater open to public in a very green landscape for concerts, theater, and so on. Every animation, every organization registered between January until April. Then all the national program appears on our national website and on the social medias like Facebook or Instagram. We have an interactive map, as you can see here, where you can choose where you want to visit, what you want to visit and so on, with a description of each animation, each place, timings and so on, registration or non-registration. Usually it's free. This year, last June, we had a record of more than 1,000 events. For this event, we have a patron. His name is Jean-Pierre Pernaud. He's very well known from the every people in France. He is our French TV main news presenter at the Midday News, but he is also involved in the rural heritage and regions, communications about know how, craft, and so on, customs, and so on. During his 33 years of work at the TV, he has done more than 15,000 reports on this rural life, which are all available actually. He offers us every year between one to four reports the week before our events. These reports are presented at the midday French news, and it's a good way to announce and to launch our event. In October, too, we have another presentation, press conference, and open to public during the international exhibition about cultural heritage taking place in Le Louvre in Paris to explain our future next year subject. Our communication program includes press file, press kit, website, we saw, we send to every of the animation 10 posters to use as a display, I sign roads, or also to dispatch on all the shops of the village and so on, place of interest to announce our events. We also use the tourist bonds, they all receive the information to communicate, and also the mayors of each village receive via the press his own information. On the Saturday of the launching, we have every year a meeting with all the partners, seven partners, presidents are here, and sometimes our patron, to launch the information in front of the press. Here we were in Rambouillet, where they have organized 17 animations about the tree and its life and its use. And here you see the draft horses used for logging. From a past event survey in each location, we register the number of visitors. Depending of the actuality, depending of the uh, climate, depending of the political elections, the number of visitors vary from 80,000 visitors until 180,000 visitors. We are expecting actually the figures for this uh, year because in France we had some elections the Sunday. The total 
expenses represent more or less 10,000 euros plus the time spent by each association or the coordination people from Patrimoine Environnement. And we share that between one subsidy of the Ministry of Culture and the balance is paid by the seven partners, same amount for each partner. This year, the main topic, national topic, was the tree, its life and its use. And we have lots of very diversified animations by individuals and also by collectivities. Animations about fruits, about woodworking, about any kind of art with wood, wood music instruments concerts, for example, rediscovering the interest of the edges, visiting the forest, guided visits, mills architecture, and even birch sap texting. Here you have the journal organized by a primary class school. We have a competition, national competition in all France regarding the main item. This year we asked the class to work on the tree and wood. And here you have their journal with the past of the wood, the actual wood and the future of the wood. And they take for the future all the reconstruction of Notre Dame de Paris with 1,300 oaks actually pre-selected and cutted to repair the roof of the Notre Dame de Paris. More and more agriculture museums are participating. 30 this year, individuals or associations. They organize specific visits about the tree, visiting a conservatory orchard, for example, with 50 varieties in Burgundy, welcoming craft people for making chestnut basket, visiting local timber construction architecture, or specific visits of the museums about everything concerning tree, wood, pressing the fruits, for example. Also inside the museums, visiting the production of one, different kinds of <clears throat> beehives, like this one just freshly finished by an artist inside of a big oak tree a new or visiting the trees around the museums or inside the villages typical old time cutting the wood a new lane inaugurated for children with a naked feet promenade or as in alsace or in um, normandy their wheel a workshop, for example. Since three years now, the president of AFMA is chairing the steering committee of the Semen Partners. After the 23rd editions, we may think about a new evolution of these open days. What we can propose is to open this event, actually national event in France, and open it to other countries all around the world, or just at least European countries. Why not? This is our proposal. We can study it through the AIMA too. This presentation will be available in French through AIMA and through AFMA. And I want to thank all the people helping for informations and photos of this presentation. 
Thank you.